Welcome to the 2023 Internationale Springer Meeting from Cottbus and the European Athletics live stream bringing you this European Athletics meeting, part of the World Athletics Indoor Tour. This is a bronze level meeting and part of nine meetings so far that we've got programmed for you over the course of the indoor season that takes you all the way to Istanbul and the European Athletics Indoor Championships, which will be held in the Turkish city between the 2nd to the 5th of March. Well, tonight, this is a vertical jumps only meeting, Internationale Springer meeting, pardon my tripping up over my commentary. Well, that translates into English as the international jumps meeting, and that's very much what we're going to have. We have a world-class women's high jump, as well as a highly entertaining, I'm sure, men's pole vault, which includes former world champion. The Lausitz Arena. The Lausitz Arena, well, it was built in August 2002, and just a few months later, back in January of 20, 2003, we had the very first meeting here and we've had 19 editions since and this is a great return for the Cottbus meeting of course for various reasons including primarily the pandemic we lost the meeting in 2021 2022 but we're back with a bang as far as this German meeting is concerned one of many field event specialist meetings that we've got in Europe especially in Central Europe Germany Czech Republic Slovak Republic and Croatia during the course of the next five weeks. Well, just getting the 1500 strong crowd warmed up. What we're going to have is an opening ceremony lasting for about 15 minutes. Then the jumpers get one final jump just to warm up, make sure that their tape and measurements from earlier haven't been torn up or anything like that. And then we're straight into top class competition which will see 10 competitors apiece. I mentioned Kendricks in the men's pole vault, of course in the women's pole, in the women's high jump we have the real star of the moment, Ukraine's Yaroslava Mahojic. Well Mahojic, last year's European champion outdoors, world champion indoors, she's already jumped two meters in what was a warm-up meeting just a couple of weeks ago in Ukraine and of course she has the backstory, of course, of the events, the tragic events in Ukraine and the difficulties she's faced over the course of the last 12 months, just even training properly, let alone competing at the very highest level. This, of course, one of those German cities which has a real history of athletics. One world indoor best was set back in 1979 when the great Marlies Gur ran a world best equaling time of 6.9 for the 60 meters. Outdoors, there's been four world records in Cottbus. So here we see the introduction in German from two of the athletes who we're going to be seeing in action very shortly. On the left-hand side of your screen, the German international high jumper Im Imko Onen. And on the right-hand side, last year's European outdoor silver medalist, Bokanda Lita Baire. Well, that was recorded a little bit earlier. And here they are in their competition gear. Changing high fives with Berlino. And it's great to see Berlino back, the ever popular mascot that had its debut back at the 2009 World Championships. Everybody introducing themselves. This is Belgium's Ben Broders. Big applause for the Broders. Second back in 2020 behind Sam Kendricks. 
that occasion, clearing 575. Romania's Daniela Stanciu. Stanciu at 35 years of age, the oldest competitor in action tonight. And Berlino, well, he's going to be in the thick of things as well. Stanciu, also world championship finalist last year. The Chinese pole vaulter, Wang Bokai. Well, Wang Bokai, like many of the Chinese technical athletes, training in Germany. And he's certainly taken to conditions in Germany very well. The world under 18 silver medalist back in 2013, and two time Asian championship bronze medalist. Well, he's obviously been learning a bit of the local language. <laughs> well, somebody else who's obviously been doing her own work is the Finnish high jumper, Etta Turi. One of an emerging group of Finnish female high jumpers. Alexander Onofriev, one of several Ukraine athletes to be in competition tonight. This man, two years ago in 2021, was the European under-20 bronze medalist. When those championships were held in the Swedish city of Boras. Personal best of 562 outdoors last year. A very familiar face, uh, former European indoor champion, Ariane Palsita, two-time winner here in 2016 and 2017. She really enjoys competing in Cottbus. Uh, the young man in front of her holding the Lithuanian flag aloft. One man who will have no problem with the language, Germany's Kilian Ladwig. Ladwig, the member of the Schrenia Sport Club, emerging talent on the German pole vault scene with a best of 5.72 last year. Still to compete in a major international championship. Wonder whether he'll qualify this year for the European indoors. Well, Irina Hereshenko speaks very good English as well. I've spoken to her on many occasions. The European indoor silver medalist in Turun in Poland in 2021. Already cleared 196 this year, so also in fine form at the moment. Ich bin Matt Ludwig. Ich komme aus den USA. Ich war US Hallenmeister. Well, pretty decent effort there for Matt Ludwig. German sounding family name. Tatiana Gusin, the US based Greek. <laughs> Might have just had a little bit of coaching there with that 
warm welcome message. Look very pleased to get through that sentence without any hiccups. A for effort there in her German oral exam. Rutger Coppola, seven-time national champion from the Netherlands, now 29 years of age. Improved to 581 outdoors last year. Dutch pole vault record holder inside. My name is Morgan Lane. I come out of England. I was 40 in Holland. Well, the very talented Morgan Lake. British record holder outdoors. One time real prodigy at multi events, now focusing just on the high jump. She's been bedeviled with injuries in the last couple of years, but on her day, a very, very talented athlete who's capable of jumping very high. Hi, ich bin Ernest John Obina, first Filipino athlete ever to get a world championship medal, got the bronze in Eugene last summer. And a very familiar face on the European circuit, spent a lot of time in Europe competing, Asian record holder indoors and out. Just telling everybody that she got the silver medal in Germany at the European Championships last summer. This is Montenegro's Maria Vukovic. Very popular, very effervescent figure around the international circuit. Well, Peter Lissig, another man who needs very little introduction to the crowd here. A winner in 2019, 2018 and 2017. And back in 2017, set the meeting record of 592. Can he, or indeed a couple of the men who come after him, challenge that mark during the course of this evening? Not surprisingly, word perfect in German. Local favourite, Marie Laurence Jungfleisch. I do detect something of a big cheer from the local crowd here. Jungfleisch, European bronze medalist outdoors in 2018 when those championships were held in Berlin. So she'll know who Berliner was. Well, you probably know who he is, the former two-time world champion, USA's Sam Kendrick, and a winner here the last time this Springer meeting was held in 2020. Yaroslavo Mahuchik. We talked a lot about Mahuchik in terms of her achievements, in terms of her battle against the adversity that she's had to face training abroad for much of last year. Much of it was spent in Germany, also in Portugal as well, back in Ukraine recently. So 
there we have it as we pan across all 20 athletes in action tonight in the women's high jump and the men's pole vault. This will be something those 20 young people from the local athletics club will remember for all their lives as well. Perhaps some of them will be inspired to go on and compete both locally and maybe internationally. <laughs> and a big welcome as well. He's jumped on the train, come over here from Berlin, which is where he lives. Berlino the Bear. Well, we saw him make his debut at the 2009 World Championships, which are held in Berlin. He went into hibernation, but came out again in 2018. And I have to say, he's probably one of the most popular mascots ever. See on his trousers there, Istaf. That's the name of the Berlin meetings. Legend, World Championship medalist in his time, Bjorn Otto. European indoor champion as well, if I remember rightly. So we're just going to clear the arena now. Drummers moving to one side after doing a fine job of introducing the athletes. Presenters will probably edge forward. The officials take centre stage. The athletes have just one warm-up jump. Just make sure everything's in place and then the competition in about 10 minutes time will get underway. Just in case you're wondering, the starting height in the women's high jump is going to be 175 and realistically we don't expect all the competitors to be taking that height. I would imagine Mahuchik might save her efforts for a little bit higher and in the men's pole vault, 530 and likewise Obima, Lita Barre and Kendricks, I'd expect to see them coming in at around 550, 560 maybe. Just as a reminder, while we're getting the introductions from the local presenters, back in 2020, men's pole vault competition was won by Kendricks at 580. 
Lisek, as I said, the meeting record holder at 5.92 from 2017. Ben Bruders, back in 2020, was second with 5.75. So those two men know their way to Cottbus, as does Peter Lissick. Interestingly, the German star, Bokinda Leiterbare, has never competed in Cottbus. Leiterbare, of course, en route for another encounter with Mondo Duplantis, who set two world records two European records last year. Bjorn Otto, very popular figure amongst German athletic circles. Just been asked to run the rule over the pole vault competition. Three years ago, the women's high jump was won by Mahuchik at 1 meter 98. Meeting record goes back one year further, set by Russia's Maria Lasitskena, on that occasion competing as an authorized neutral athlete. Mahuchik also competed in 2019, one of her breakthrough years, finishing fourth on that occasion. Ariana Palsite has competed on many occasions at this competition. I've counted up five, and I might have missed one or two. Now you can see Peter Lissick just doing a couple of drills. I do apologise. Uh, my German isn't quite good enough to give you a full translation of what's been said. However, once the action's started, you won't need any translation. You'll be able to see it with your own eyes. Nice shot there. Of the Lausitz Arena. Very, very compact arena. Sam Kendricks just getting his bib properly attached. go 175 indeed it will be the opening height for the women's high jump So 
There we see Matt Ludwig also just going through his paces. See, absolutely packed to the rafters. Not just in the seats, but around the upper tier as well. Everybody trying to catch a glimpse of these two world class competitions. So, the very first athlete in action this evening, Greece is Tatiana Gusin. Well, Gusin competed in Luxembourg just three days ago on Sunday. Looked as though she was struggling at the time with a slight ankle injury. Cleared 187. Hopefully, has recovered from that. Nicely over 175, no problems with that. And does look to have recovered from the problems she had just a few days ago at the weekend. Now 28 years of age, Goosin. So the way that this is going to work is that Once the heights get a bit higher, they'll be alternating between the pole vault and the high jump. This is Hetatori, the Finn. 28 years of age. Went to both the European and the World Championships last summer. Didn't make it through the qualifying rounds. This is her first competition of the year. Personal best of 190 last year. And jumped to personal best of 188 indoors. So coming good, quite late in her career. And this being a high jump and pole vault with music competition. The DJ is just looking for the music that the athletes have selected earlier. This is Alessandra Onofriev. So they've got the sequence worked out now. European under-20 bronze medalist from two years ago. Height, but comes down on the bar. Anufriev, though, turns 21 next month. Could be a medal contender at the European Under-23 Championships, which are coming up in July in the Finnish town of Espoo. As with all European athletics events, we will be live streaming that from start to finish, every moment of it. And now Hetaturi, 175, and she's over. We're very much focused on the road to Istanbul. 
but later in the summer, of course, we will be having the European Under-23 Championships from Finland, the European Under-20s in August. That event being held in Jerusalem. And then during the course of the summer, also the European 10,000 Metres Cup and the European Throwing Cup, which comes up immediately after the European Athletics Indoor Championships. So all those to look forward to outdoors in the coming months. So this is Ladwig, the German. Cleanly over. As I mentioned in the introduction, has never been to an international championships, but obviously focused on qualifying for the European Athletics Indoor Championships in Istanbul, which comes up between the 2nd and the 5th of March. Now, this is a woman who's been to plenty of major championships, though. The 2017 European Indoor Champion, Lithuania's Ariana Palsite. Comfortably done. Over the years has had some injury problems, but still going very well. Ah, Peter Lisek. A little bit of a surprise to see Lisek come in so early. Work of it though. European indoor champion in 2017, the same year that Palsiti won her gold medal. Two world indoor bronzes in 2016 and 2018. A bit like Palsiti though in recent years, has had a few injury problems. Uh, Marie Laurence Jungfleisch. German number one for many years. Just missed out on medals at the 2017 and 2015 World Championships. Young Fleisch nails it. Wasn't the most tidy of jumps, really just got over there on speed and spring. She won't be worried. Took off a long way away though, but good height. No, this is Matt Ludwig. Well, Matt Ludwig. Went to the Olympic Games. Back in 2021 as part of the US trio. Didn't get out of the qualifying rounds though. That was a bit of a surprise. 5.30, no problems for him. That's the best of 5.90 outdoors from 2020. And if you're wondering how come his personal best was set outdoors in 2020 in the midst of the pandemic, it was an early season meeting in Mexico as it happened in February. So just got in there before the world went into lockdown. So. Oh, it's gone up to 1 meter 80. Tatiana Gusin. Oh, brings it down. Not a good jump. Not really very much height there. 
zurück, der ein ganzes Jahr lang nahezu verletzt war. Looks like she took away a long way away. But she still have two more attempts at this height. And Sam Kendricks deciding to get a, an attempt in at this height as well. 5.30 for the man you could call the defending Cottbus champion. Oh, massive height there. a season opener for Kendricks and this is a season opener for Morgan Lake. Lake now 25 years of age. Nice tidy jump for Lake. She's over 1 meter 80 without any problems. Good start to the competition for the Britain. Fourth at the World Indoor Championships in 2018. An Olympic finalist in 2016 as a teenager. So, second attempt at 5.30 for... Alexander Onofriev. Onofriev, best of 540 indoors. Much better. The Ukraine athlete goes clear. So the bar will go up to 5.40 now. Daniela Stanchu, the Romanian now, attempting 1 meter 80. Well, not much daylight there, but she got over. Cleanly. Fine, that was one meter eighty. If you want to know the live results, just go to the European Athletics website, www.europeanathletics.org, and that will take you to the local organizer's own website with live results. Took off a long way away from the bar. Don't know whether a coach is in the audience. He'll be suggesting that she gets closer to the bar. So, Imke Ornen. Ornen seems to be in around for so many years. But she's still only 20 years. Eight years of age. Her brother, of course. Former German international, Eike Ornen. Comes from a... Very, very talented athletics family. Member of the Hanover Club. World Championships finalist in 2019. No, not a good jump from start to finish, I think. But if you're watching this, you're probably a jumps aficionado and you'll know that she has two more attempts at this height. Well, it looks good until this point. In comparison, probably just jumps too close to the bar and takes it off with her backside. Now you 
probably got into the rhythm of things now. High jump, pole vault, high jump. The women and the men alter alternate jumps. So, Rutger Coppola, Dutch indoor record holder. Leaping to the familiar sounds of Black Sabbath anthem, Paranoid. I'll probably be able to recognize some of the music that the vaulters and the jumpers are competing too, not all of them. Sadly, I haven't got a list of what they're jumping to in front of me, but uh, I recognize quite a few of them. So this is Heta Turi. Her first attempt at one meter 80. No problems. For the tall fin. Der belgische Löwe steigt ein in den Wettbewerb. Er hält den Landesrekord in Belgien sowohl drinnen als auch draußen in der Halle. 5,80 Meter. Das ist sein Nationalrekord für Belgien. Quite exaggerated arch over the bar, but good height. Good height there for Ben Bruders as well. The Belgian record holder. Nicely over four, five meters 40. Irina Hereshenko. Twenty-one European indoor medalist, fourth at the Olympic Games in 2021 as well. So world-class jumper and has very little difficulty navigating one meter eighty. China. Sergei Mumka zum Weltrekordler gemacht und zum Olympiasieger und er hat Jelena Isimbayeva zur Weltrekordlerin und zum Olympiasiegerin gemacht. Das ist eine Trainerlegende im Schlapphochsprung schlechthin. Winter Just to bring you up to date, Kilian Ladwig passing this height. No doubt we'll come back into the competition again at 5.50. time Asian Championships medalist. Very good vaulting from the Chinese athlete. Has the best indoors and outdoors of 575. Nicely done.
Right in a house heater. Twenty sixteen and twenty seventeen winner is here in Cottbus. Comfortably done for the Lithuanian. Long strides, deliberate run up, but then really delivers a good jump. Still very much in the opening stages of this competition, though. So this is Matt Ludwig. Couple of alters, Pietro Lisek and Ernest John Obierna deciding to pass this height. <laughs> yes, this is his first attempt, just in case you're a little bit confused by the graphic. Quick down the run up, bags of height, good vault there from Ludwig. Ludwig had a, an outing two weeks ago in Reno. Very well known pole vault competition in Reno in Nevada. Cleared 551, but looks in good form here. This is Marie Laurence Youngfleisch. No problems at the previous height of 175. Like all the German athletes, the crowd here getting behind her. And no problems. Bit untidy, but nevertheless reasonably well over. First sight on the run ray, runway of Bokinda Light of Ire. European silver medalist from Munich Ooh, just five months ago. Well, the infield presenter really milking it for all it's worth but gets the response from the 1,500 strong crowd here. European under 23 champion in 2019 and still only 23 years of age, has graduated into the senior ranks almost seamlessly. Comfortable jump there for the Bayer Leverkusen athlete. I'm just looking at that replay, really didn't do very much wrong there. 20, 30 centimeters of daylight between himself and the bar. So we switch. As I'm sure you're already used to from the pole vault to the women's high jump. And this is Maria Vukovic. Well, had a great teenage career at the European and world level at the under 20 ranks. Taken a really long time to really make a breakthrough. But got the European silver medal last year. Montenegro's first ever senior medal on the continental stage. Tall, rangy athlete. 1 meter 94 tall. It's almost a warm up jump. Good rapport between 
Gusin and Vukovic, as you can see, helping each other along. And Vukovic, very popular athlete on the international stage. Now it's the turn of Sam Kendricks to have a tilt at 5 metres 40. But most of the athletes making light work of these early heights. It's going to get a bit more difficult from this point on, both the pole vaulters and the high jumpers. No problems though at this height for Kendricks, the 2020 champion in Cottbus. He gets another little zero to his name. Bags of height. Went very close to the bar though, but didn't touch it coming down. So a big shout out to some of the local dignitaries and some of the local sponsors who've made this meeting happen. So we have a very slight hiatus in the competition. We'll be back with the action very shortly. local infield presenter is acknowledging some of the co contributors and the very important collaborators with this meeting just to remind you that we do have 14 world athletics indoor tour silver meetings and they start with the meeting the istaf indoor meeting in dusseldorf on the 29th of january so that's coming up this sunday and we also have 16 world athletics indoor tour bronze meetings well, we've already got underway with Jablonik in Czech Republic and the CMCM indoor meeting in Luxembourg. Well, also going on simultaneously in Denmark, we've got the Arku Sprint and Jump meeting, but we're here in Cottbus for the Internationale Springer meeting. We have a whole slew of other field event specialist meetings. Pustapechi in Czech Republic, well-known high jump meeting. That's on the 4th of February. Tyranek comes three days later, also in Czech Republic. I've already mentioned the Banska Bystrica Latka in Banska Bystrica in Slovak Republic. That's on the 14th of February. That's possibly the best specialist meeting in the world. We've got two very good Pole vault only meetings coming up though at the end of the indoor season on the 25th of February, the All Star Perche meeting in Clermont Ferrand in France. That's organised by the former world record holder Renault Lavillani. And the Perche Elite Tour in Rouen comes actually after the European Athletics Indoor Championships and probably going to try and attract some of the top stars from Istanbul. That comes up on the 11th of March. Indoor arenas, wonderful show, showpiece for the jumps and the shot put as well. Talking to the local dignitaries, the bars are going up in the pole vault to 5 metres 50. 
and in the women's high jump it's going up to one meter 84. to 1 meter 84 very shortly. Overlook the fact that Tatiana Gusin and Imke Onen have second, and if they need them, third attempts at 1 meter 80. Now we're back to the action. 5 meters 50. And this is Alexander Onofriev attempting a personal best indoors, has jumped 5 62 outdoors. Ah, takes it off with his feet. Didn't quite get the height. Two more attempts, though, for the young 20 year old Ukraine Volta. So Tatiana Gusin, her second attempt at 1 meter 80 for the Greek athlete. Brings it down again. She's struggling. She struggled in Luxembourg on Sunday and is clearly having a few problems both technically and in terms of fitness here. Turning the clock back to 2019, she cleared 1 meter 94 on home soil in Piraeus and has the best outdoors of 191. So, Hillian Ladvig has the previous height of 540. First attempt at 550 for the German. Ooh, good height, but came down on the bar. It's rattling. I think it's going to stay up. Turn of Rutka Coppola at 5 meters 50. So Rutka Coppola, Dutch indoor record holder. Seventy-five is Dutch indoor record. Nicely over five fifty. So, jetzt wird es zum ersten Mal richtig spannend. Ihr wisst es. Die Dauerbesucher hier in Cottbus, jeder hat drei Versuche bei jeder Höhe. Maximal drei Versuche. Es ist soweit. Sie muss jetzt in ihre Dritte. Sie muss jetzt die 1,80 bewältigen oder den Wettkampf beenden. So now, Tatiana Goosin.
hat sich vorhin selbst vorgestellt und hat gesagt, er war Asien Hallenmeister 2016. Aber er ist auch ein freier Bärenschlag. 5,75 Meter well, <laughs> You can see the relief on Tatiana Gusin's face. Just a scrapes over 180 to retain an interest in this competition. Now the two-time Asian Championships medalist, Huang Bokai. High 50. Comfortably over 5.30. Ooh. Not so much clears it by the skin of his teeth, but by the skin of his knees. The bar's wriggling up there. They'll steady it, but it stays up. Bukai, best of 575, both indoors and outdoors. Hasn't been quite in that sort of form in recent times. Not far off it, though. Peter Lisek, the next to jump in the pole vault, but we switch our attention to the women's high jump with the bar going up to 1 meter 84. No, we're squeezing in Lisek. Lisek over 550 for the former Cottbus winner and meeting record holder and European indoor champion once upon a time back in 2017. Again, just tickled the bar, lots of height, but came down on it. Couldn't quite edge away from the bar, just caught it with his knees coming down. And Tatiana Gusin needed three attempts to get over 1 meter 80. Herself. Fresh start for the Greek jumper. No, just clatters into it. Once again, just jumping too far away. Not enough height. So just like at 1 meter 80, she's got two more attempts at this height. John Odina, first sight of the Filipino World Championship bronze medalist. Comes down on the bar. Bags of height there though, and two more attempts. Sie war 2014 U20 Europameisterin. Bei einem Wettbewerb in zwei Disziplinen. Sie war U20 Europameisterin im Hochsprung und im Siebenkampf bei demselben, beim selben Wettkampf. Morgan Lake, Great Britain. <laughs> I don't really need to do much work here. The infield presenter's doing it all for me. Great Britain's Morgan Lake. a member of the Windsor Flower and Eton Club. Oh, wasn't a good jump there from Lake. Back in 2018, jumped 1m97. World Junior Champion. In 2014, followed up by European Under-20 champion in 2015. 
Matt Ludwig. Seen some good clearances from him so far at the early heights. 5.35.40 without too many problems. Good plant, good height, well over. Nicely done for Ludwig. Good form from Ludwig at these early heights. And I think he's looking quite confident and quite pleased with himself, and so he should so far. Very quickly, Daniela Stanciu, the Romanian, over 184. Of course, if you're wondering, under normal circumstances, high jumpers have one minute to take their attempts, and the pole vault has two minutes. But here, it's a question of the officials raising a yellow flag, and you get just 15 seconds to take your jump. It all rolls along very, very quickly. Now, the Kinder. Lita Barre. German looked very good at his attempt at 5.40. See if he can do something similar at this height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lita getting the crowd behind him. Well, he's been very much the face of this meeting, done a lot of the promotional work for this Cottbus meeting. Tends to have quite a busy indoor season. Height was there, but it was just a little bit too far away, and he came down on the bar. So, he is sofort losgelaufen, eben über 1,80. Und jetzt geht's ans 1,84 ran. Und ich wünsche einfach nur, dass ihr drüber springt. Und jede Höhe, jeden Sprung heute Abend hier gewesen. See on the replay, good plant, good height. And his high point was probably 30 centimeters or so in front of the bar. Cronin. Not the quickest of approaches, oh, a bit lazy, I'd say. Didn't have the height there. So, Sam Kendricks, two-time former world champion, two world indoor silver medalists, so he's a man to vault on any surface, as you can see, nicely done at 550. Current US record holder outdoors with 606, so plenty still in the bank. So I'm wondering whether that heralds a return to form for Kendricks after really being off the scene just a little bit since around 2019. Now Hetaturi, finish high jumper. Quick, powerful, nice jump there from the Finn, 184. One of the jumpers with a more modest personal record in this competition, but jumping well so far. Sascha 
für ihn neue persönliche Bestleistung so hoch ist er noch nie in der Halle gesprungen. Now vaulting at a indoor personal best height. Alessandra Onofriev. Not the best of attempts with his first attempt at 5 meters 50. About 40 minutes into this competition now. Still not a single person eliminated in both the men's pole vault and the women's high jump. Onofriev, not the best of vaults though for the young 20 year old Ukrainian. 20 nice shot though of the arena. The Lausitz Arena, you can see. Well, the vaulters uh, going in one direction and the women in the other. Arena Hereshenko now. 1 meter 84. Very comfortable clearance at the earlier height of 1 meter 80. Already cleared 196 this winter. Very comfortably done as well. Wearing the blue and gold national colours of Ukraine with the ribbons in her hair. Good friends as well. Regular travelling partner and competitive rival with Yaroslava Mahuchik. So this is Ernesto Bena. Opened his competition at 5.50, brought the bar down on his way down despite having masses of height. Wonder if he's adjusted his run up. Quick plants well. Oh, once again, huge height, but comes down on the bar. It would be a bit of a shock if he crashes out, but he has one more attempt at 5 metres 50. Just a reminder, last year's World Championships bronze medalist in Eugene. Irina Palsita. Former European indoor champion back in 2017. Clips it with her heels, but it stays up. Elsita, <laughs> now 30 years of age, was an Olympic finalist back in 2012, over a decade ago. So, Bakanda Litabaire, the German. Michael Biena. Good vault, bags of height, but brought the bar down. Coach and athlete manager Jeff, Jeff Hartwig, former American record holder. So, Bekinder Leitabade. Now ready to go. Second attempt at 5.50 for the home crowd favourite. And just like Obiena, comes down on the bar. Yeah, that's the distance. Guys, it's very early in the season. For 
Well, I know this is his season opener, but he would have been practicing so much in the last month or two. Oh, Mario Laurent's young Fleisch. Not quite in the form of a couple of years ago, of around 2018, but still very good jumper. That's a disappointment. So a cross by her name. Her first failure of the competition at 1 meter 84. Just a bit untidy. Brings it down with what looked like her calves. So third and final attempt for Alexander Onofriev. The young Ukraine talent. This would be a personal best indoors for Onofriev. Getting in the mood with the music that he's chosen. Quickest of vaulters on the run up, but very powerful. No, brings it down. Good effort, but it's not to be an improvement on his indoor personal best. And he gets the slightly unwanted accolade of being the first man to be eliminated from these two competitions. But I think we're going to see more of this young man, possibly later in the summer. Still 20 years of age and has the look of somebody who could well be a medal contender at the European Under-23 Championships in July. So, now become accustomed, we switch over to the women's high jump. First attempt at 1m84 for Maria Vukovic. Vukovic. Former world under 20 champion. No problems for Vukovic. Took a long time to realize her teenage potential. Has really come good over the course of the last two years. After about eight years, when she really hit a plateau after her teenage successes. But now really back in form. Ernest John Obiena. Obiena, third attempt at 5 metres 50. Needs this to stay in the competition. I'm sure he'll be getting some input, advice on adjustments to his run-up. This is his opening height. Doesn't want to start his first competition of the year with a DNF or an NM in the case of the pole vault. No mark. Oh, now he gets it right. Sigh of relief. And what a good jump it was. Yep, that's where you should take off. Just checking his marks. Still close to the bar, but on this occasion, just far enough away to avoid clattering into it and bring it down. Well, the infield presenter giving a long list of accolades for Yaroslava Maucic. First attempt at her opening height of 1m84. Went over 2m 
10 days ago in Lviv. No problem there at 184. Hurried and rushed it a bit, but she just got over there because she's so supremely talented. Talked about this with my colleague Hannah England in the Twitter space interview that we did an hour before this meeting got underway. And look out for that in the course of every single European Athletics live stream because we will be doing Twitter spaces with Hannah every time we go live with a meeting on the European Athletics Indoor Tour. Well, it's seen Obiena go clear after two failures. Can Lokanda Leitabara follow suit? No. Oh, disappointment for the home ground. So much was expected of the 2022 European silver medalist. He's not going to be amongst the top three here. Bags of height, but I have a feeling he'll be looking at the videos of his jumps at 550 and looking at his run up, looking at his pole placement. Very good conditioning, no doubt about that. Needs to work on the technique. So we switch to the women's high jump, and it's Morgan Lake's turn to attempt 1 meter 84. I'm just wondering if we're looking at Lake getting ready, whether Tatiana Gusin has decided to call her today. She was carrying an injury in Luxembourg. She was limping a little bit. Let's just double check on that, because it should be Gusin up next, the Greek jumper. But you could see that Morgan Lake was getting ready there. daughter wanted to come with her but that wasn't going to happen <laughs> being looked after oh yeah she is coming after all I'll be edited into the home videos for next Christmas I've no doubt oh she's very shy oh, 1500 strong crowd here in the Lausitz Arena in Cottbus. Not a seat spare, as you can see. underway in just a moment men's pole vault bar will be going up to 560 I'm informed
Now, finally Morgan Lake, after this row being a few minutes ago. It does look as though Tatiana Gusin has retired. Well, Morgan Lake, in addition to all her accolades in the under-20 ranks, fourth at the Win World Indoor Championships in 2018, when they were held in Birmingham on home soil. Oh, nice jump there from Lake. No problems there after that untidy effort with her first attempt. Very neat indeed, and lots of height there. That augurs well for later in the competition. Now you can see on the replay, very determined. Absolutely nails it. Nice jump from the Briton. Now, Julian Ladvig, first man to attempt 560. Oh, not far either. Good height there from Ladvig. Ladvig, one of the emerging talents of the German pole vault scene, which over the years has just been so full of so many great exponents. So, in Koronen, can she emulate Morgan Lake? Gets over this on the second attempt. No. Not a good jump from the German. Didn't really have the height. One more attempt for Onan. Didn't really have the speed and looks as though she just jumped off too close to the bar. And of course, it can be quite hard. There's a lot of distractions going on in the indoor arena. You just need to be able to focus. Crowds on top of you, music. You've got the other event going on. Rutger Coppola. And he put it all to one side as he attempts 5 meters 60 for the first time. Yes, good vault from the Dutchman. Well, he looked good at his earlier heights and he's carried on that form with that clean attempt at 5 meters 60. Yeah, chess was very close to the bar as he went over it but he did have good height very very solid performance there from Coppola so Marie Lalance young Fleisch second attempt for her at 1 meter 84 oh she brings the bar down the local jumpers in Cottbus Onan and young Fleisch not having the best of days so far Looks as though she cut in, didn't get her run up right. Consequently, just jumped too close to the bar. Now, Ben Bruders, the Belgian. 5 meters 60, skip 550, comfortably over 540. Very good vault from Bruders. Second at the last time this meeting was held in 2020. 
Ja, da läuft sie langsam rüber zu ihrer Anlaufmarke, die Imke. Egal wie das jetzt ausgeht. Wichtig ist, sie ist gesund zurück nach einem langen, langen Jahr. Seid ihr derselben Meinung? Nicely ja, done from Brüders. Belgian record holder indoors and out. Now in Corona. Two rather lackluster attempts at this height for the German. Can she get it right at the third time of asking? What's she got to offer the home crowd? Didn't have the best of years out outdoors last year. And it's not started too well this year, it has to be said. So Onan departs with a best of 1 meter 80. So, it's come wieder der junge Mann aus China, bisher auch ohne Fehlversuch. 5,75, seine Bestleistung. Also 5,60, die gehen. Bokai Wang! So, Wang Bokai. China's leading Volta at the moment. So Wang Bo just runs through. All went wrong, didn't sight his plant correctly, just ran through. Two more attempts, though, for the Chinese Volta. He's a two times Asian Championships medalist. Just hammers his head in frustration. Marie Lalonde's young flash. Come on, Marie Laurence. Let's give the local crowd in Copa something to cheer. Oh, not a good jump at all. Far too far away. Uh, Marie Laurence, young fly shoes. Interest in this competition sadly comes to an end. Poor attempt there. You can just see what went wrong on the replay. So, Peter Lisek, 5 meters 60. Just remember, he's jumped 592 in Cottbus, he's the meeting record holder here. Got over 550 at the first time of asking, but it was a bit of a struggle. We'll be looking to do better here. Ooh, a bit more of the same, making hard work of it, but got over. This set, one of those rare breed of vaulters who's cleared six meters in his career. It looked good up until his high point, and then he came down very, very close to the bar. Officials just checking it hasn't moved on the stanchions. Oh, and there was me thinking that Tatiana Gusin had retired. Somewhere along the line, she sneaked in, got over 184. We didn't see that jump. So, first attempt at 187 for the Greek jumper. However, I don't retract what I said. She's struggling a little bit. She's still carrying some fitness or injury issues. I think she might have uh, taken that jump, that successful jump at 184. Well, our German infield presenters were having a chat with some of the local officials. Sneaky, I'd say. So, 
Tatiana Gusi now getting ready. Struggling to get it right. Who's in a great success as an American collegiate athlete? Been to the World Championships on a couple of occasions, but struggling here. Julian Landvig. Getting the support of Sam Kendricks. A pretty fraternal bunch, these pole vaulters. They know each other very well. Ah, Matt Ludwig. My mistake. And Ludwig carries on his good form. Taken every height and he's got them all at the first attempt. And, uh, Morgan Lake, second time of asking, it was a good clearance at 1 meter 84. Something of the same, and she goes sailing clear, I think, at 187. Not always as easy as I, I say it is. You know, it's sometimes quite difficult to produce two good touch jumps on the bounce. Uh, good height there, but just came down on the bar. Der Weltmeister steht bereit, ihr Lieben. Der letzte Sieger von Cottbus 2020. Ja, so lange ist es schon her. Two Aber more attempts at this height, though, for Lake. The champ, Sam Kendricks. Play good height, though. Just clicks it down with the heels. Now, Sam Kendricks. 5 meter 60 for the former world champion. Oh, comes down on the bar. Just didn't quite look right from the word go, did it? It looks as though it was all too forced. It wasn't a smooth run up at all. And his high point was well in front of the bar, as you could see on the replay. Now, Daniela Stanciu. Romanian, 35 years of age. One of the shorter competitors in this competition. Very quick on the run up. Slithers over 1 meter 87 to keep, keep her flawless record. Gillian Ladvig, his second attempt at 5 meter 60. Oh, good vaulting from Ladvig. Wenn man als Schlaf hochspringen denkt in Deutschland. 
And that indeed is an indoor personal best for the 24-year-old German. Outdoors, he's gone over 572. Indoors, never higher. That was nicely done. Ah. Etatore quickly. Oh, and she's over at 1 meter 87. So she's jumping well. There's only one centimeter below her indoor best. The Chinese Volta has a best indoors of 575. Well, that came quite a few years ago in 2016. No. Ran through his first attempt, never got off the ground properly on his second attempt. Looks as though struggling just a little bit for confidence. No, it didn't happen. Oh, first attempt at one meter at 87 for Irina Heroshenko. Always looks very thoughtful. You don't get a lot of emotion from Heroshenko. At least not until she's on the medal podium anyway. Attacking the bar. Oh, just took off far too far away. So first failure for Irina Heroshenko. Uh, just a very flat jump, really. I think she knew it as soon as she'd taken off that she hadn't hit the right takeoff mark. Sam Kendrick's second attempt now. Not a good vault. First time of asking at 560. Needs to do a little bit better. The man who won here in 2020. Paul Volt stands brought a little bit forward. His high point was certainly in front of the bar last time around. Just in the pole vault stands might help him. So the two-time world champion and twice a world indoor champion medalist. Better, much, much better from Kendricks. I don't know whether it was the adjustment of the pole vault stanchions or he just basically dug deeper. But that was such a good vault in comparison to his first effort at 5 meters 60. Nicely done from Kendricks. So this is turning into a very good quality competition. Arina Palsite of Lithuania. First attempt at 187 for the former European indoor champion. Yes, and she's over. So we're getting the 
So with Palcite going clear, that makes three women over this height already. Stanciu, Turi and Palcita. <laughs> There's Bellino getting in on the fun. I don't think anyone knows how high he's vaulted. Probably a well kept secret. So, Wang Bokai. Third and final attempt for China's number one. No, once again, pulls out. So Wang Bokai finishes his interest in this competition. Nevertheless, still eight men, I should say seven men, still in this competition. Ladvig, Coppola, Bruders, Lisek, Obiena, who passed this height, Ludwig and Kendricks. Now, Maria Vukovic, first attempt at 187 for the Montenegrin. getting a little bit ahead of themselves. Now it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy that she clears 187 very nicely. And we know you're watching this European athletic stream all around the world. So 1 meter 87 is six foot one and three quarters if you're watching it in somewhere like the United States. And of course, if you're enjoying this European athletics live stream, we have another seven meetings coming to you from the World Athletics Indoor Tour Silver and Bronze meetings. And then, of course, we're off to Istanbul for the European Athletics Indoor Championships between the 2nd and the 5th of March. Later in the year, well, we've got a whole host of European Athletics live broadcasts, not least of which will be the European Under-23 Championships from Finland in July and then the European Under-20 Championships from Jerusalem in Israel in August. And of course, we were back in Jeru back last August. We were in Jerusalem for the European Under-18 Championships. So Israel becoming very much a go-to place for European athletics events in the summer. You can see in the background, well, our presenters just having a chat with Berlino. A bear of very few words, but lots of action. Bar going up to 5.70. Well, Morgan Lake, second attempt to 187. Had a good second time clearance at 1 meter 84. More of the same, please, Morgan. And indeed, she does produce it. Excellent jump there from Britain's Morgan Lake. Really tidy. Technically very good. Lots of spring. And over 187. Nicely done for Lake. Gillian Ladvig. Well, I said the bar was going up to four. Sorry, five seventy. It's actually five sixty-seven. With a 
thudding sounds of Guns N' Roses. Welcome to the jungle. So, Ladvig brings the bar down. Didn't really have the height there. Going over what happened there with his coach alongside him, Irina Heroshenko now. This well within her capacity. First attempt, just a poor jump. Put it out of your mind. Oh. That wasn't good either, though. A competitor of her experience. And she does have a habit of being a very consistent competitor at the highest levels. I thought this was going to be a height that she could clear with ease, but still jumping, it looks quite a long way away from the bar. Just wonder what she's thinking now. Does she bring her run-up in just a little bit? So, Ernest John Obiena past 560. Had all sorts of problems with his first two vaults at 550 and then really nailed it. Oh! He had great height on it. Just look at the way that that bar has moved. It's right on the edge of the uprights. Do detect a rueful smile there. Huge height, but then comes down on it. Just stays up, even though that bar is gyrating up and down. Now, third and final attempt for Hedoshenko. Quick turn around for Heroshenko. Little more than 30 seconds. Just enough time to get back to a starting point. Oh! Now she gets it right. Yeah, it's just look at the determination on her face. I think she's still jumping too far away but had the speed and then the height just to really pull it, to pull it off. Matt Ludwig now. Well, followers of athletics will know that this indoor competition is turning around the attempts very quickly. So Ludwig, flawless so far. Four very good attempts, straight over. 530, 540, 550 and 560. First attempt at 567 for the American. Oh, well that wasn't as good as his earlier attempts at 550 and 560 by a long way. Nevertheless, two more attempts for Ludwig. Morgan Lake now, first attempt at 1 meter 90. Well, when she's got it right at 184 and 187, she's got very good indeed. Also got a few failures on her scorecard as well. This is a woman who jumped 197 back in 2019. Not a bad effort. 
took it off with maybe her calves, maybe her heels. Let's have a look at the replay. So we switch ends of the arena. This is Sam Kendrick. Has been struggling so far, but really pulled it out for that one. That was a terrific jump. That's the Sam Kendricks of old. And that takes us back to 2017 when he won the world title and was the dominant vaulter in the world that year. So, here gets it again. From the right side comes Daniela Stanciu from Romania. Die now, Daniela Stancio sort of slithered over the bar. She's got a flawless record so far. Not done very much more than necessary. Ugh. On that occasion, just needed a little bit more, though, and brought the bar down. So the first failure of this competition for the 2022 World Championship finalist. Gillian Ladvig. Ladvig getting ready as we look at that replay of Stancio's jump. Second attempt at 565 for the German. Oh, nicely clear for Ladvig. That's a, that's a good effort for the German. Once again, improves on his personal best. He had a personal best indoors at 560. Going over 567 improves that indoor best. Now, Hetaturi. This would be an indoor personal best for the Finn if she goes clear. Not far away, though. Not a bad effort at all. Jump 188 last winter on home soil in Kupio. Now looking to improve on that. This would also, if she gets over this, equal her lifetime best of 190 outdoors. Now Matt Ludwig. Fine attempt at 560, not quite as good with his first attempt at 567. But Ludwig will know he had plenty of height with that 560 clearance. One of the shorter vaulters, but very powerful. Just look at how strong his arms are. Quick on the run-up comparatively as well. Plants well. Oh, just comes down on top of the bar. One more attempt at 5.67 for Ludwig. So this height potentially shaking out a few of the competitors. Irina Hedoshenko, first attempt at 190. 
composing herself. Goes through a very exaggerated pre-jump routine. Often very effective though, and so it proved on this occasion. Everything that was wrong at 1 meter 87, she's got right at 1 meter 90. After the drama of needing a third time clearance at the previous height, she goes straight over. I think she's still jumping a little bit too far away, but with the speed and good technique over the bar, she gets away with it, and there is still daylight to spare as well. Well, it's a bit of a brief hiatus once again. So, just taking a moment to compose herself. It'll be Marianne Palsita next. Just getting ready for his third attempt coming up shortly. So Ludwig. Just getting ready, getting the crowd behind him. Helped by the German presenter as well. He's really encouraging the crowd to Start clapping and start cheering for him. Ludwig, personal best indoors of 585, which dates back to 2020. Gone over 590 outdoors. Here we go, third attempt, 567 for Matt Ludwig. Oh, he's out of the competition. Take a bow, Matt Ludwig. He provided some excellent entertainment at the earlier heights and some terrific performances. But three failures at 565 meetings. Matt Ludwig goes out of this competition. Yeah. Possibly the worst of his three attempts at that height. Now, Alian Palsita. 1 meter 90, first attempt for the Lithuanian. Peter didn't jump indoors in 2022. Injury problems. Back to some sort of fitness. Brings the bar down for her first failure in this competition at 1m90. Just doesn't seem to quite have the drive of her jumps at 187 and 184. Once again, just took off a little bit too far away, just left herself a little bit too much to do, and she couldn't quite pull it out. Well, we lost Matt Ludwig at that height. 
So the bar now going up to 5.72. Still six men in the competition, though. Ladwig and Obiena got over that height, as did Sam Kendricks. Passing was Coppola, Brudas and Lisek. So now the familiar game of vertical chess, which is so typical of so many pole vault competitions. Julian Ladwig coming back in. Over at the second attempt at indoor personal best at 5.60 and 5.67. Can he equal his career best at 5.72? Not quite. Ladwig, two more attempts at this height, though. Ladwig jumped 572 outdoors in Arken in September, so he finished the season on a high note, and he looks as though he's had a good winter's training. Not that far away either. So we switch sides. This is Maria Vukovic. So the tall, rangy Montenegro and European silver medalist in the summer. First failure of this competition for Maria Vukovic. Vukovic, best of 196 indoors, Montenegrin record, 197 outdoors. Just starting to get grooved in, her first competition of the year. This is Rutka Coppola. Look good going over 560. This would be just three centimetres below his Dutch indoor record. Oh, yeah, as you hear by the groan of the crowd. First time failure at 572, though, for Coppola. Not terribly happy with that vault, you can see. Just to confirm, in case you were wondering, we did lose Tatiana Gusin. She decided after that first failure at 1m87 to pass. Uh, she left the competition. Now, Yaroslava Mocic. Nicely done for Mojic, the European champion. Just a second jump of this competition after going over 184. Really determined. Huge height there. Technically, perhaps not the best jump she's ever had, but nevertheless, still very effective. One meter ninety, you almost feel she could do in her sleep, metaphorically speaking. So, Ben Bruders. Belgian indoor record holder. This is his first attempt at 572. No, failure for Bruders as well. Oh, 
Rodas has cleared 580 indoors. That particular bolt came at the Levan World Athletics Indoor Tour meeting back in 2020. Of course, we managed to get quite a bit of the 2020 indoor meeting meetings concluded before the world came to a halt thanks to the pandemic. Morgan Lake now, the Britain. Second attempt at 1m90. Had a perfectly respectable first-time attempt at this height. No. That wasn't as good as a first attempt, I think. One more attempt for the Britain. Looking very thoughtful, trying to get some input there. Long, long, long way out. Now, Peter Lisek, Poland's former European indoor champion. Oh, not a good attempt from him either at 572. So the Volta's having a bit of a problem at this height. No one over it yet. Just taking stock of his vault. Second attempt then for Daniela Stancio, 1m90. No. Again, a long way out. A lot of these jumpers seem to be jumping from a long way out. I'm just wondering whether there's an issue with the sight lines here, with a lot of the partners and sponsors' hoardings behind how easy it might be to actually see the bar and sight it. Well, Sam Kendricks had an outstanding vault at 567. Can he repeat that at this height? 572 for the former world champion. Yes, he can. Well, he's producing the best vaults we've seen in this competition so far. Still a little way to go, though. But that's a very good, very good vault indeed for the 2020 champion here in Cottbus. Lots of height there for Kendricks. So the crowd getting behind, getting revved up. Here's Heta Turi, the Finn, attempting her to equal her lifetime best. And she's got it. Oh, the Finn's got it. She's clear at 1m90. So Heta Turi, an indoor personal best, and it equals her lifetime best outdoors. And that puts her potentially in a good position at this very early stage of the road to Istanbul. Well, you can check out all the qualifiers for the European Indoor Athletics Championships on the European Athletics page, www.european-athletics.org. As we look at Julian Ladvig, oh! Very close to equaling his lifetime best as well. Almost over. Almost managed to slither around the bar, but just nipped it off in the end. Oh, really did almost have it. Back to the women's high jump, and it's Ariane Falsita. A 
Charles Heater, like a number of the other high jumpers, likes to go through this mental rehearsal. Ereshenko here being the most obvious exponent, but Palsita, no, doesn't help her on this occasion. Brings the bar down for a second time at 1 meter 90. So three women are over at the moment. Hedoshenko and Mahuchik, the two Ukrainians, both over at the first time of asking. And Hetaturi, second time. Rutger Coppola now. Just Sam Kendricks over this height at the moment. Coppola, second attempt at 5.72. Ah, not that far away though. One more attempt for the Dutchman. And a wrapped crowd in Cottbus. And the attention is on Maria Bukovic. Montenegro. Fourth at last year's World Indoor Championships in Belgrade. Just over the border. Oh! Poor jump there from Vukovic. Maybe she's just getting into a groove after winter's training. Poor competition in Luxembourg when she only jumped 184. So she's having a few difficulties so far in this indoor season. They look technical rather than fitness or perhaps a slight injury based. Ben Bruders now, the Belgian. Well, he was fifth at the World Indoor Championships in March last year when they were in Belgrade. Oh yes, well clear. So he becomes the second man over 572. So Ben Bruders joins Sam Kendricks. Clear. I know we're still at 5.72, just to let you know that the bar will go up to 5.77 after this. <laughs> Typical German athletic snack, one of those big pretzels on sale at every good German athletics meeting. So Morgan Lake, third and final attempt at 1m90 for the Briton. Just preparing herself, just trying to focus. First attempt was quite reasonable, second attempt not quite as good. Drives in, looks determined, but just clips the bar off. So the former world under 20 champion departs from this competition. Nevertheless, good height though, probably just needs a little bit of work on the technique, a little bit 
of going back to the drawing board ahead of her future competitions. Peter Lissek. Now the pole, former European indoor champion, not far away, but it's a second time failure for Lissek, the man who holds the meet record here at 592. Well, this won in 2017, 2018 and 2019. Missing out in 2020, he's back again. Now, third and final attempt, do or die attempt for Daniela Stancio. Three women over this height so far. Can Stancio make it a fourth? No. So the Romanians out. Stancio leaves with the best of 1 meter 87. And warm applause for the crowd who are supporting every single athlete in this arena. Never really gets the height, just sits on the bar. Gillian Ladvig. So Ladvig wasn't that far away with his last attempt at 5.72. As mentioned, this would equal his lifetime best, which came last year in Aachen. And the infield presenter urging Ladvig's compatriots to really get behind him. Hey, it looks good. And oh, yes, he manages it. He gets over. He rattles the bar, but it stays up. Oh, he's got to be pleased with that. Equals his lifetime best. Wasn't very far away on his second attempt, but makes it count at the third time of asking. That bar moves, tickles the uprights. Edges a couple of centimetres towards the abyss, but stays up. Mariana Palsita, the Lithuanian. Well, Palsita now 30 years of age from Vilnius, the Lithuanian capital. No, just looked really sluggish in the run up. Wasn't to be. So, Palsita. Two-time winner here in 2016 and 2017. Out of the competition on this occasion. So far, just three women over 1 meter 90. Just to remind you, the two Ukrainians, Irina Hereshenko and Yaroslava Mahuchik, and also the Finn, on-form Finn, equaling her personal best, Heta Turi. So, Rutger Coppola. Can he join the very select group who got over this height? No, bails out, not to be. A nice sporting wave to the crowd and a little bit of acrobatics. So we have three men over this height.
Kendricks first time of asking, Bird a second time of asking, and Ladvig at the third time of asking. And the Filipino bronze medalist from last summer at the World Championships. Obiena passing this height. The bar will move up to 5.77 as we now wait for Maria Vukovic to compose herself. Success or fail, she's the last woman to attempt this height. Third and final attempt for Vukovic. Looked good at the earlier heights, but struggled at 190 so far. Neither of her first two jumps particularly impressive. Needs to dig deep now. Memories of last summer when she took the European silver. Oh yes, tickled the bar but scraped over and she continues in this competition. So four women are going to be in this competition as the bar goes up to 1 meter 93. There you can see. I think she knew that she was living dangerously as soon as her back touched the mat. So now, Peter Lisek. What can he do, Lisek? That injury woes over recent years coming out again. No, not to be at this occasion. Brings the bar down. But I'm sure he'll be back on future occasions. He knows Kotler so well, having won here on three occasions. Still the meeting record holder. At least for a few minutes longer, maybe for another year. We'll wait and see as this competition continues to unfold. Still four men in the competition, just like with the women's high jump. So, the bar goes up to 1 meter 93, and Finland's Heta Turi attempting a personal best, indoors or out. Very much a late developer at this sport. Set a personal best last year at the age of 27. Ah, no, just looks rather flat there. So it's saying Toure last year improved to 1 meter 90 outdoors, 188 indoors. Some success as a teenager, went to the European under 20s in 2013 and the World Juniors the following year. He's really come back into top form in the last year or so. Probably needs to improve by another couple of centimetres to get a ticket to Istanbul. And as I was saying, as the season progresses, you can see what the road to Istanbul looks like on the European Athletics website. And please do continue to follow us as well on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and all the other social media channels which you can find access to via the European Athletics website. Well, they're just working out the next increment in the pole vault competition. The bar will be going up to 5.77. Four women in the women's high jump. Here's Irina Hedoshenko at 1 meter 93. Oh, fast in, drives well, but just clatters, just never gets any lift at all. Look good until about two strides out. Just seem to lose her sighting. Oh, 
an beiden Anlagen. Wenn wir euch nicht hätten, müssten wir nicht bis weitergehen. So, another first time failure for Hereschenko. Gillian Ladwig. Not sure that's right. The bar, I think this is a first time attempt at 5.77. Don't think we had any attempts at 5.75. Nope, brings the bar down. No, the graphics have taken on a bit of a bit of a life of their own. I can confirm that was the first attempt at 577, not what you're looking at. And there wasn't any attempts at 575. Well, still a rapt audience here. Well, Maria Vukovic, 1 meter 93. Struggled a bit at the previous height, but eventually slithered over. Amazingly, she's not even jumping her own head height. There. Vukovic being 1 meter 94 tall, one of the tallest of the women high jumpers on the international circuit. No. Not a bad attempt though. I think she's still having a few technical problems, but uh, that was a fair attempt. Once again, jumping a long way away seems to be a problem of a lot of the women high jumpers. Again, I'm starting to wonder a little bit about the sight lines. It does seem to be a problem that a lot of the jumpers are having. So, Ernest Obiena. Obiena. Straight over at 5.67 after those problems at his opening height of 5.50. Now 5.77 for the Filipino Volta. And he makes it. Nicely done. Well, Obiena. The Asian indoor record holder at one uh, five meters ninety one jumped that height in Rouen last year. And this country's first ever world championships medal last summer in Eugene. One of the real stars of Asian athletics. Etaturi. Well, over a personal best at 190. Lifetime best, indoors are out. Didn't have a great jump at 193. But she's having a great competition, no doubt about that. Oh, really determined. Quite good height, but again, I think she just rushed it a little bit. The problem now is there's not much opportunity for the jumpers to have much rest in between the vaults okay, and the jumps, even despite the fact that they switch over and alternate between the high jumpers and the pole vaulters. Oh, she was really committed to that. Just jumped once again, just a little bit too far away. Now, Sam Kendricks, he's just seen Ernest Obiena go clear. How can he respond? And a great vault at 572. Not bad, but brings the bar down. Und 
sie liebt es, wenn sie jetzt über 1,93 bringt im zweiten Versuch mit der Unterstützung. Mariana Palsite. So we have Reina Harachenko. 193. We've already had two competitions this year. 196 again, 193 in Lviv. Not far away from getting 193 again here, but one more attempt to go. Looks like Yaroslava Maricic is waiting for the next height of 1m96 it's scheduled to be. Wonder if either Turi Vukovic or Hedashenko can join her. A youngster enjoying the competition. Great experience. And sometimes these meets really imbue a love of the sport that carries on for decades afterwards. So, second attempt at 5.77 for Gillian Ladvig. No, not too bad though. One more final attempt for the German. Just one man over at the moment after those first attempts. Obiena. All four men remaining in the competition attempting this height. Maria Vukovic, you can hear being announced. She's getting ready for her second attempt. Vukovic, world under 20 champion, back in 2010. There's that little hop in the middle. Oh, all gone horribly wrong there for Vukovic. Rueful look on her face. Nearly always a very cheerful demeanor, though, the Montenegrin. Still smiling, even though after that mini catastrophe. So, Sam Kendricks had a terrific vault at 572. This is second attempt at 5.77. Graphics, well, not quite catching up there. But this is definitely his second attempt at 5.77. And we do have a link to the live results on the European Athletics website, www.european-athletics.org. Brings you right up today. Oh, mar marvelous! Kendrick's over. Just to bring you up to date, if you haven't seen Ben Bruders, we were expecting him to vault at this height, but he's passing upwards to 582. So, Obiena and Kendrick's over. Gillian Ladvig, third attempt to come. Ben Bruders passing. So it will certainly be at least three men at 5.82. Now, Etaturi. Just wondering if this is a bar too far at this stage in her career. Over a personal best at five. At the previous height of 1m90, she's determined, flies in, just a little bit untidy. Nevertheless, a good competition for the Finn, equaling her personal best. And I'm sure perhaps even this winter there's further improvement to come. Well, 
She can't be displeased about that competition, even if it all, as most high jump competitions do for nearly all competitors, ends in failure. Yeah, it's just rushed it, didn't she? So it's given up here. Really determined, coming quickly, but in the end, the technique just went a little bit awry. So now, Gillian Ladvig, third attempt at 5.77. He's over on the third occasion at 5.72 to equal his personal best. Not this time, though. Three decent attempts at 5.77. Could see more from this young man. Please do believe me. There were no jumps at 5.75. It was a third attempt at 5.72 that he was his best performance in Cottbus tonight. But another off the very, very long conveyor belt of very talented German pole vaulters so, over the years. We had Bokanda Litabare earlier in this competition. Didn't do so well. Litabare, very much Germany's number one at the moment, and I'm sure will come again. Now, Irina Hedoshenko. Ereshenko's been over this height and better in her two competitions so far this winter. Competes a lot. And that's a great jump from the Ukrainian. Excellent effort from her. I don't really know what it is with Ereshenko. When she gets it right, she does fly high. But nearly all of her competitions are littered with fouls here and there. But that was one where it did all come together. Lots of hype there. Daylight between herself and the bar. And she continues in this competition. So the bar will now go up to 5 metres 82 in the pole vault and just three men in the competition. First man to attempt this height will be Ben Bruders, just masked by the officials. The man in the predominantly yellow apparel. I'm oh, just quickly looking back, and it's a reference point of the depth of this competition at least in the men's pole vault that no man has ever cleared 572 and been out of the top three so maria vukovic third and final attempt for the montenegrin 193 a good attempt but just brings it down with her calves bit of frustration with a nice smile and a bow to the crowd. So Maria Vukovic departs. <laughs> what can I say, she says to Berlino. Berlino, as usual, not a bear of very many words, but gives her a big hug. There we go. All goes well for later in the season, though. I think she's just starting to get into a groove. So the pole vault moves on. Five metres 82.
Intruders. Oh. No. Didn't really get it together with that. Looked as though he wasn't really committed over the last few strides. And pulled out. Man who finished fifth at last year's World Indoor Championships in Belgrade. Also a World Championships finalist outdoors. Both in 2022 in Eugene and 2019 in Doha. Not a prolific competitor indoors, despite his fifth in Belgrade. Has never been to a European indoor championships. Maybe that'll change with Istanbul on the horizon in just a few weeks' time. So the bars moved up in the women's high jump to 1 metre 96, and just two women left in. Irina Hereshenko, third time clearance over 193, but when she did get it together, looked very good indeed. And Yaroslava Mahuchik, who was just flying high at 1 metre 90 and past 193. Mahuchik up in a couple of minutes. But this is Irina Hereshenko. It's going to be a 1 2 for Ukraine, but which way round in Cottbus, we don't know just yet. And Berlino contributing to the rhythmic clapping. Oh, yes! Ereshenko gets over 1 meter 96. Terrific jump there from Irina Hereshenko. So, is it the Asian record holder, the first one who won the 582 flight? I trust him to. Well, the European indoor silver medalist. But two years ago in Turun, before things changed so dramatically for Ukraine, is still flying high. Now, Ernest John Obiena of the Philippines. Ah, good. Our technical men have straightened out the results. First attempt at 5.82 for Obiena. And he was magnificent at... Oh, I was going to say he was magnificent at... 577 flying high. Not quite so accomplished there. Pulled out of that vault. So, we have been a lot of Sivan, we have just two months, we see them all together. But there is a leader. And she will not put the wider beschäftigt. I'm going to be very sure. Freut euch auf sie. Die weltbeste Hochspringerin. Hier. Bei euch in Cottbus, die springt jetzt nur für euch. Jaroslava, mach gut! There you can see. Haut sie drüber! He was really flying down the run-up, but just lost control of the vault. Now, Jaroslava Marucic, just seen a compatriot, Irina Hereshenko, and a very good friend go clear at the first time of asking at 196. Oh, what a magnificent jump from Mahuchik. She just showed why she could afford to pass that previous height. So the bar should be going up to 198 now. And it's the women who finished first and second at the last European Athletics Indoor Championships. Yaroslava Mahuchik and Irina Hereshenko, who are one and two in this competition at the moment. Sam Kendricks now. And as I was saying is that with these fields now dramatically reduced, the vaulters and the jumpers don't get much time to rest in between efforts. So Sam Kendricks two-time world indoor silver medalist, two-time world champion outdoors. The American, get, oh, it stays up. I thought he was gonna bring it down. I have a feeling he did as well. He's dancing around the mat. A salute. A legacy of his training in the US Army. And congratulations from his good friend, a very sporting hug there from Ernest John Obiena.
Fobiena still two attempts left at this height. Oh! I think he just about hit it with every part of his body going around the bar, but got there in the end, and it stays up. Now, will that be good enough for victory for Sam Kendricks? Or do Obiena, Ben Bruders, have anything to say about it? So the bar now at 1 meter 98. Irina Hereshenko. Well, I'll have to check out their head-to-head -head record, which goes back several years until Majic was in the, probably even in the under-18 ranks, because she was, of course, European under-18 champion. Erichenko doesn't get the better of Mahochik very often. And to do that, she's going to have to go over 1 meter 98 and preferably at the first time of asking. Erichenko has an indoor best of 198, which she did to get that silver. Not that far away either on this occasion. This would equal her indoor best. Good first attempt there from Hereshenko. That'll give her a bit of confidence about the heights to come. Two more attempts at 1 meter 98 for Hereshenko. Yeah, as you can see by her reaction, she knows she was reasonably close. Now, Ben Bruders, second attempt for the Belgian. 5.82 would be a new Belgian indoor record. He holds it at 5.80. He is attacking, but once again just pulls out of the vault. One final attempt, though, for Bruders. You've seen Kendrick slither over. <laughs> you can see in the background Berlino holding up a sign. I think it says wave. Probably got a few others that say cheer, shout as well. What's he up to, Berlino? Oh, he's got everybody doing a Mexican wave. Tell you what, I'd have Berlino going to all the World Athletics Indoor Tour meetings. Could do with him just getting everybody involved. And despite the distraction of Berlino, I think the high jumpers and the vaulters will be a little bit happy as well because they're just trying to just get their breath back a little bit. Once the yellow flag goes up, not always obvious on the TV screen, the official at the far end of the stadium, just out of camera shot most of the time. The jumpers have about 15 seconds to get to their mark and then start their jump. Pretty typical of these wonderful jumps or field events only meetings that proliferate across Germany and Central Europe. So, Jaroslav Amaric, one previous meeting this year, about 10 days ago in Lviv. Cleared two metres and cleared it well. Not too far away from 203. This is 198. Her first attempt for the reigning European indoor champion indoors and out.
Oh, gets over. Not the best jump of her career, but speed and athleticism and spring takes her over. She knows it. She knows she's done better jumps. But the bar stays up and they all count. This is where it looks good. Bags of height. Just takes it off with the backside. I should say tickles it with the backside. But it stays up. So how does Irina Hereshenko respond to that? Will she carry on jumping at 198 or will she pass up to the next height? She can do that. So, Ernest Obiena just trying to compose himself. Obiena's second attempt at this height of 5.82. Vienna now. Oh no, once again. Just ducks out of it. Oh, Vienna gesticulating as if to say, what do I need to do? How can I make it right? Nevertheless, he's over and over well at 577. The Asian indoor record holder. It does look like Hereshenko will take her second attempt at 1 meter 98. This, of course, would equal her indoor best. Jump 198 to get the silver medal, as I mentioned a minute or two ago, when those European Athletics Indoor Championships were held in the Polish city of Turun in 2021. Oh, and once again, not that far away. Just clips it off with a backside. Looking to the skies, reflecting on that jump. It's good jumping, technically good. At these sort of heights, I've been commenting on how far away they've been jumping from the bar. But at this height, you really do need to jump quite a long way away to take to take flight and use your speed and try and get over the bar. Now, Ben Broders. Third and final attempt at 5.82 for a Belgian indoor record. Not a bad attempt, but brings the bar down. It's not to be on this occasion. Well, Broders, second at the last time we had a Internationales Inga meeting in Cottbus in 2020. Well, Obina still to jump. But Bruders will have to settle for third place on this occasion after second three years ago. So, Hereshenko. Third and final attempt at 1 meter 98. And two pretty reasonable attempts. Needs this to stay in the competition. It will equal her indoor best. And it'll also just very gently lay down the gauntlet to her friend and competitive rival, Yaroslav Amaucic. 
They're going to meet again on many, many occasions over the course of this winter. Not bad either. Three pretty decent attempts at 1m98 for Irina Hereshenko. But in the end, 1m96 is her best. And she has to settle for second place here at the 2023 Internationale Springer meeting in Cottbus. And this failure means the spotlight will solely be on Yaroslava Mahuchik in the women's high jump. Well, Mahuchik won in 2020. And on that occasion, cleared 198 as well. The meeting record is 202 from 2019. That stands to Maria Lasitskena. Will Mahuchik put the bar up to 203? find out about that in just a moment so Ernest John Obiena third and final attempt at 582 Sam Kendricks has already got over this height encouraging the crowd to get behind Obiena oh good attempt but just brings the bar down a smile, but the slap of the mat shows his frustration. He knows that height's there, though, but it'll have to come another day. So, Ernest John Obiena takes second place this year in Cottbus. We now know the winners of these two competitions, but they're still in, and the bars will rise. The question is now, by how much as the athletes talk to the judges? Well, it's off to both Maricic and Kendricks. What height the bar goes up to. won in 2020 and now this year again in 2023 and it looks like he's going to come back as he said every year that the Cottbus meeting organizers invite him and I have a feeling that could be for a few years to come and I hope they invite back Berlino always a welcome addition to any athletics meeting indoors or out So Yaroslava Mahuchik. No, she's had the bar risen to a season's best and world lead of two meters and two. She holds the world lead with that two meters that she jumped in Lviv about 10 days ago. This would equal the meeting record. Oh, very, very close indeed. Very close indeed for Mahuchik. She's obviously come here in great form. I think we already knew that once we saw the results from that Damianot Memorial meeting in Lviv. And videos of her clearances at two meters and her close failures at 203 went viral amongst athletics aficionados. So two more attempts for Yaroslava Mahuchik. As you can see, Pat Crowd in the arena. 
This arena in this co configuration holds just over 1,500 people. Hendricks is going to continue in this competition. If he was giving a very little speech to the crowd, it might mean that he's actually withdrawn and will carry on at another meeting. Certainly know that Yaroslav Amogic will continue though. There we are. I have to apologize, my German isn't really good enough to be able to do a proper translation of that. still going on. So Yaroslav Maucic. Second attempt at two metres and two. It does look as though Sam Kendricks has decided to call it a day with that first time clearance at 5.82. Oh, perhaps not quite as good as her first attempt, but she does have one more attempt left. Yes, you can just see by the expression on her face, a little bit less impressed with that. though she just very slightly chopped her stride two strides out so third and final attempt to come for Yaroslava Mahuchik Sneakily advertising tickets for uh, the Berlin Indoor Meeting coming up on the 10th of February. Fair play. If he's going to do a guest appearance here, I guess there's nothing wrong with trying to sell a few tickets for his home meeting. The staff Indoor Meeting, of course, one of 14 World Athletics Indoor Tour Silver Meetings in Europe. We have 16 World Athletics Indoor Tour bronze meetings as well. This is the second of the European Athletics live streams coming to you this winter from the World Athletics Indoor Tour and another seven to come. There's Maria Vukovic signing a few autographs. Well, Yaroslava Mahuchik as the last competitor. Nice smile there from Heta Turi, the Finn. Good competition from her. The 
Finn Turi getting a personal best. Quick chat with Bjorn Otto, who, of course, was many time winner here. Oh, I'm just looking back through my notes. Gosh, how many times did Otto win here? 2013 and 2014 were victories for Otto here in Cottbus. He finished in the top three on three or four other occasions as well. So, a pensive looking Yaroslava Mahuchik, the very last athlete in action. Will be th this be the last jump of the evening? Well, you can see by the smiles on the crowd's face. They've enjoyed well the last two and three quarter hours of competition. And a good quality competition it is, both in the women's high jump and the men's pole vault, which has come to a conclusion. Well, she's ready to go. Mahuchik, the reigning European champion, indoors and out. Personal best indoors of 2.06. The Ukraine absolute record. She's running in. She's flying. Oh! Oh! It was so close. For a moment there, I thought it was going to stay up, even though the bar was vibrating. But eventually, it just edged its way off the uprights and onto the floor. Nevertheless, a victory for Yaroslava Mahuchik. 1 meter 98 again, same winning height as she achieved in 2020. A Ukraine 1 2 with Irina Hereshenko, her friend and teammate on so many international teams, finishing second with 1 meter 96. Well, that brings to the end the competitions. We're just going to have a victory ceremony just to acknowledge the top three in both competitions. Not quite sure where, Yara, where Berlino was going when we saw him disappear off the side there. I suppose even bears have to go to the toilet after two and three quarter hours. No, he was just going for a coffee. So the dry ice floods the Lausitz Arena. There we go, there's the victory podium. Every athletics competition needs to have one. Just to give you a rundown, just to mark your card for forthcoming European Athletics live stream broadcasts. So, the first World Athletics Indoor Tour silver meeting of this winter that will be on the European Athletics YouTube channel will be the very, very good field events only meeting in the Czech Republic. And that comes up next Tuesday, the 31st of January. And after that, We've got meetings in, ooh, where have we got meetings? In Mondeville and Val de Ruil, both in France. Val de Ruil comes up on the 4th of February, Mondeville on the 8th of February. Then we stay in France, Metz on the 11th of February. And then we go to Slovak Republic for the very, very good high jump meeting there, the Banska Bistritsa Latka. 
and that is one meeting where we'll see a lot of the women who've been in action in Cottbus tonight. And I know for sure that we're going to be seeing Irena Hereshenko and Yaroslava Mahuchik there. Oh, that's where he was going. He wasn't going off to the toilet or to the co find the coffee machine. He was going to get his gold jacket, gold and silver lame jacket. And rather splendid it is too. I'd rather like one like that. <laughs> no. That's not going to end well if Bellino tries to do the splits. Probably also remembers the time he was carried around on the back of several athletes who'd been victor victors at the Berlin 20 2009 World Championships. <laughs> Have we lost an athlete? have enjoyed this second of this winter's European Athletics live streams from the World Athletics Indoor Tour. Communicating, what a very good meeting it's been. No, I just wonder whether he's going to present the prizes. Getting the crowd revved up for the very last part of this terrific meeting. The prize, the award presentation. And all the athletes mass there at the far end of the arena. Loud. Yes, it was very loud for a while. It's a terrific facility, this arena, perfect for a up close and personal competition like this one with the men's pole vault and the women's high jump. Trailer einspielen. 
Uh, finally, they've got the official results. I think that was what they were waiting for. <laughs> Print out of the full results. So everybody gets a prize at this competition. Tenth in the pole vault, Alexander Onufriev. Clearance of 5.30. Making it worthwhile everybody coming to Cottbus. Here's Tatiana Gusin bringing up the rear in the high jump. Gusin got over one meter eighty at the third time of asking. Clearly not fully fit though. Here's Bukanda Litabare. Bit of a disappointment for the European silver medalist, only getting over 540. Flowers as well as a memento, not doing too badly. Don't do that well on some game shows. Wang Bokei. Next up, finishing eighth in the pole vault. There's Mary Laurence Youngfleisch. Eighth in the high jump. So alongside the Turkan Patriot. To a left, Imke Ronen. Bit of a disappointment for the two German jumpers there. I think realistically we're expecting them to go a little bit higher than the 184 that they both managed. Uh, I should say 180 that they both managed. So there's Matt Ludwig and Pietro Lisek. Both equal fifth. Jumping on very quickly. Rutger Coppola as well. He was fourth. The set, well, one of the true world class performers of recent years. Hoping to regain, I think, some of his abilities as the weeks go by as we head towards Istanbul, trying to regain his title. There's Morgan Lake. Sixth, 187. There's Julian Ladvig, fourth, with a equaling his personal best at 572. That was the best ever indoors as well. Fist bumps for Ladvig. I think we're going to see more of him over the course of the coming weeks. fifth for former European champion Arena Parsite 
And Romania's Daniela Stanciu. Both women flawless up to 187 before bringing the bar down three times at 190. As we see Ben Bruders of Belgium come out. Five seventy two for Bruders. Maria Vukovic takes third place. As the gap starts, oh, fourth place, I should say, as the gap starts to close. So just three vaulters and three women high jumpers remaining. There's Ernest John Obiena takes second place this time around in Cottbus with a clearance of 577. There's not going to be enough room on the dice there, is there? Etatore takes third, equal their lifetime best of 190. Good competition from the Finn. And they've got themselves a bit out of order here. Here comes Irina Hereshenko. 196. Excellent performance from her, just two centimetres below her indoor personal best, four below her absolute best. She's going to be in medal contention again come the European Indoor Championships in Istanbul. So now we just wait for the two winners. Sam Hendricks, winner in 2020 and a winner this time around again in 2023. Cleared 582, the only man over that height. And the former world champion clearly starting to get back to his best of a few years ago when he was without doubt the dominating performer in the pole vault before the advent of Mondo Duplantis. And just like Hendricks retained his title in Cottbus, so too did this woman, Yaroslava. Mahuchi, as she did in 2020, she jumped 198 then, so she did in 2023 and went over 198 once again before three pretty good attempts at two metres and two. So that's everybody on the dais, all 20 competitors from the Internationale Springer meeting in Cottbus, the 19th edition of this fantastic German jumps only meeting. Berlino gets in on the action as well. There's pictures that are going to appear all over Germany and possibly beyond in the papers tomorrow. And a big thank you to the crowds as well. Everybody really enjoying themselves in this German town tonight. <laughs> oh, and that brings to an end this World Athletics Indoor Tour meeting from Cottbus. Join us again in six days' time when we'll have another field events-only meeting coming to you from Nevedska in the Czech Republic. 
Start time for that is 1800 hours Central European time, 1700 hours in Britain Island and the Canary Islands. As glitter falls on Cottbus, it's time for me, Phil Minchel, to say goodnight. We hope you enjoyed this European Athletics live stream. Join us again very soon as there's many, many more European Athletics live streams coming to you on the road to Istanbul and the European Athletics Indoor Championships in the Turkish city between the 2nd and the 5th of March. Good night. Tschüss. See you soon. Tschüss und auf Wiedersehen, sagt Johann.